All right, guys. So this is kind of a continuation video from I just uploaded a night light video like that. There, it's a regular outlet, but it's got night light built into it. Um, only problem with those is if you lose power, then you have no illumination. But this is kind of a continuation um, on the video I made about the about the because uh, in the video I was talking about. You know how some people are scared of wiring and they don't want to work mess with electrical or whatever blah 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 so when i moved into this house i had a light fixture right here it was just a little fixture just stuck to the ceiling and i'm in las vegas so i wanted to run i wanted to install fans and you can see in this area alone i have three ceiling fans so what I did, because it was already a fixture here, controlled off of this switch, okay? So what I did, about a week before I moved into the house, my buddy and I went through, and what he did is he cut about a four inch, or actually, no, I'm sorry, before he cut the four inch strip in the sheetrock, okay, I went down to Lowe's and I got um, those ceiling fan boxes that you can get from Lowe's, Home Depot, Amazon, whatever. And and the way they work is you 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 stick them up in the hole and then you you uh, you you open the threads up and there's spikes and it ends up grabbing the studs. So it's uh, that's why it's rated for what it is. Um, so anyways, after I made the holes at the location that I wanted to mount the fans, he took his circular saw, because I think this is half inch drywall, and he just cut all the way down, okay, and then we, we, he went through and he drilled, because this is a vaulted ceiling, so there's no attic up, up there, on the other side of that is just, it's the roof, so, we, re we drilled all these trusses, okay? Drilled all the trusses there. And then I connected, I, I wired everything up. Funny story, when I first did these, I bought some 72-inch 70, down rods. Those ended up being too long because uh, they were on clearance. This is why I bought them. Um, I ended up, I had to take them down and use my angle grinder to cut them down. That that wasn't a big deal. But anyways, to kind of touch on um, the nightlight video that I was talking about where I said run the wires, do everything yourself, and then call an electrician for the last part. Okay. Um, so whenever I'm working on a ceiling, a, a light fixture, I'll just turn, I'll just turn this, the local switch off. I won't, I won't turn the breaker off. And, and what I'm getting at here is... You go through, you cut the hole, you 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 know you drill the drill you you run the wire, you wire in this box, you wire in this box, and you just leave the wire here, and then at that point, that's when you have the electrician come out and you say, hey, I I need I need to connect this up, and the electrician will make the connection here, check the connection here, check the connection here. So instead of paying for, you know, like six hours of labor and paying for the wire and paying for all the labor, you know, to, to cut the, uh, in, in, in the drywall, you're, you're, you're paying for maybe two hours worth of work for him to get that connected and then to make sure that these two are connected. And that's, that's the whole point of this video is I just wanted to, uh, because that's what I was talking about in my other video. But this is a perfect example of getting the work done. And then having an electrician come out and do the final step. And that's what I said in the other video. So if you do that, like I said, you're, you, you've you just eliminated um, a lot of your cost. So anyways, uh, just wanted to make that video. Kind of let you guys know about that so uh, until my next video I don't know what my next video will be um, but for now
uh, that's it. If you want to know about my next video, just go ahead and hit the subscribe button. If this video helped you, please hit that thumbs up. Let me know I'm doing a good job. All right. Until next time, thank you. Goodbye.